Welcome back to the series where I show you answers to questions that I had in my mind, questions that I've actually asked myself. Last time we spoke about how does Wi-Fi signal actually penetrate walls into the other room, if you remember. And if you haven't watched this video and you want to watch it now, all you gotta do is just click right here on my palm. I'll wait for that for a second. And for today, we are going to talk about why does signal get really weaker when you are inside the elevator. In other words, why does it not penetrate the walls of the elevator? That's what we're going to talk about today. This is a question we're going to answer and we're going to get into it right now. If you remember, cell phones use electromagnetic waves, radio waves to be particular. The thing about electromagnetic waves is as the name suggests, they have an electric field and a magnetic field that interact with each other, composing that wave. Cell phone coverage signals goes out the service tower towards your cell phone and everyone else's cell phone. And your cell phones have a built-in antenna that picks up that signal. The closer the tower is, the stronger the signal, providing you with the service to make calls or messages, etc. If the tower is pretty close, even when you are inside of the elevator, the signal should work just fine. However, these electromagnetic waves can experience barriers on their way to your phone besides distance. Though radio signals can penetrate brick walls like we explained on the last video, it becomes a slightly different case when it comes to elevator walls. The elevator box is made of metal. And metal reflects away and absorbs signal, preventing them from entering towards your cell phone when the doors are closed, even though it's not completely. This happens because radio waves interact with free electrons in materials rather than bound electrons. So they are blocked by materials that have free electrons. And an example for that would be conductors like, well, metal. A conductor, like metal, has electrons that are loosely bound, which makes a large number of free electrons for signals to interact with, preventing them from entering. Now this may raise the question, which is a fair question, why is it possible for me to use my cell phone just fine when I'm inside my car, given that most of the car shield is made of metal too and the answer to that is most of the signal is going through the glass window towards your phone and not through the metal body of the car in that case it is very easy for electromagnetic waves to go through the glass and this is evident and we know it because when we use our microwave and cover the food with a glass plate or something it still heats up just fine so that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned something new if you have enjoyed make sure to leave Leave a like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this or videos that are not like this because I make different types of videos. But I think I'm going to make uh, a part three of this series. I'm not going to spoil the surprise of what's it going to be if you guys like videos like this and peace.